I'm gonna turn on, nobody's home. Check the batteries. Of course you put in new batteries and still not turned on. So when you're in school, you probably love these because you could drop them and nothing happened to them. And this is still why I keep mine around versus uh, having my phone out in the shop and using it as a calculator. These just a lot more robust. There is one flaw with these that I will show you now and this should get your unit back up and running quite quickly. So remove the batteries, make sure that you don't have any corrosion on any of these uh, terminals and make sure that those are all clean. If everything's looking good here, then chances are you've got a bad connection at the board and through all of those jarring drops and that sort of thing that this has probably been susceptible to over the years, that's most likely the cause of the problem. On my T189, it is a T6 Torx bit and we will remove all six of these screws. We can now remove the one screw here for the backup battery. And with these two sides separated, you can see that the battery connections here, one for the positive, one for the negative, make contact here on this part of the chip. And notice if you look really closely that they'll make a little wear pattern just in one spot of that chip. And because of that, that's where it's making contact. And if it wears through that, then uh, you're not making any contact anymore with the batteries. So what you have to do is just bend these guys ever so slightly so that we're making contact in a new part of that. And then we can put it all back together. Pop in the batteries and see whether we brought this back to life. All right, so as you can see, now that it's loaded back up, we're good to go. We've uh, got power restored. And it was just a case of moving those contacts over to a new part of the circuit board that was not worn out. And you should be good to go for another 10 years or so.